like a planner Benjamin Banneker checking all angles and wrecking all challenges Education's our future if we're we need this now in order to run the country in a few years so it's definitely important. So powerful, spitting out a jaw full, building up resistance, another world is possible. And I think that us students should have an opinion towards all the teachers getting fired and the schools getting closed because we're the ones that are mostly affected and um, the next generations and everything, we're the ones that are going to have to deal with it. And I think that we should have something to say towards that. So mo most adults and people think that some of us don't care about it, about it, think that it's whatever if we get new teachers. But some of the teachers, we have built um, relationships with them. And in our high school year, we can always rely on them and go back to them and for recommendations and everything. But if they leave, we don't have the same like trust towards the new teachers. And I think that um, they should consider our um, opinion towards everything. And everyone has a say. When decisions are made by uh, oh, folks that are elected, and students aren't even asked about um, things like uh, you know how their teachers are treated or how they're treated or what's going to happen to their schools, it's unfair. So we're here to, to tell the board of education and the school department that they can't make decisions for students without listening. for a reason and we all know that firing our teachers was a bad decision because in the future it might even count for like our getting into a good university. When I came to class school, you know, it was my first time going to a school that wasn't a private school and we were said at that school to have the best teachers and that's what everybody said but when I came to class school I was amazed at how amazing teachers were in just a regular school, you know, and they were so talented and so dedicated to what they did and every day I felt like I was learning something new because of the passion and the love that these teachers have. And they don't deserve to be fired. They don't deserve to lose their jobs. If anything, they deserve a little more than what they get. Yeah, education means jobs, yeah! Well, I think in recent times, uh, the school system has been looked at in uh, too much of an objective view. Like a lot of things people don't realize is that teachers, most of the teachers in my school, they do more than just their jobs because they talk to the students um, they let them know. They let them know um, what help they can give. They can let them know what help they can give besides what is just what, what they think they're obligated to do. And I think that firing the teachers is a really just a senseless and, and heartless act. And also, it's not the most sensible act because if students see, if students are exposed to an environment where where uh, people in higher ups can just uh, eliminate what they think is not right just based on statistics, I think it gives the students a vision of the world that's. Uh, Incorrect and <laughs> distorted and corrupted. So I think that I think giving the, I keep, I think keeping the teachers would be the, would be the best thing to do because I think if you ask not a hundred students, ten out of ten will tell you that they like the teachers they have in classical high school, and they'll all tell you that they want them to stay. For everybody. Recently, everyone's been complaining about the standardizing of the school systems, the standardized testing. You know, like. T putting students into categories just because of how they do on tests. Well, that's what this is doing. The teachers have all been fired, and over the next couple of months, they're going to be viewed as to whether they're proficient in their teaching methods and how they're teaching the curriculum, not how the students are learning. So that's not fair. This is not what we're doing in a Providence school system. Education means jobs! Yeah, for everybody, like you said. I am bound by no thing because I'm all things. You are all of it. And if you can get out of the fracturization, the separatism, and realize that you, on a much deeper level, had a part in creating this world.